here. We've arrived. What's up? Um, hello, everybody. Good evening. We've got Keyforge sealed. I'm cool. tired. Justin is dying. I'm so tired. I am full of vim and vigor. Um, yeah, so... Low, the sad and failing low-energy Justin. If you are just joining us as the first Tag Team Cup stream you've watched, so the way this works is uh, two teams of two decks will be facing off each other. One, uh, each team consists of one Worlds Collide, one AOA deck. We'll be pairing off AOA versus Worlds Collide uh, both for both of the first two matchups. So it's going to be one deck. It's going to be a... Two games, one from each deck of each team. Yes. Are opposites, you following me? Opposites fighting. <laughs> so if hey Red Runner, how's it going? If there is a game split between teams one and one, we go to the third game, third game between losers to decide the match. So there you go. Welcome back, Red Runner. Glad you're here. Yep. Very exciting. Uh Red Runner with the Prime. Thank you so much. Twenty five months. That. That's awesome. Very cool. Uh, what? Uh, Grinning Skulls. Yep. Grinning Skulls was Sardonic Countess and Norman, or am I incorrect there? Uh, yes, that is correct. That is correct? Yeah, so we'll, we'll double check that. Code Red with tier 1. 33 months. Look at that. Look at that. Thank you so much. Uh, Grinning Skulls is Sardonic and Senior White. Yes. And then classes divided is Avidia and Noctis. Yes. Okay. Okay. We've done it. Well, this random us. Uh, this is the. This is AOA. Oh, this is the uh, Maverick Igor. Oh yeah, that's really deck, cool. Which is which is totally awesome. The Creative Nurture, Creative Nature deck. So Noctis, I need your AOA deck. Okay. Let me look at that list real quick before we get into this. What am I playing around in Furnace? Of course. Three Obsid Cuthbert researches. Obsidian Forge and Nefru. Uh, dinosaurs Bane. My AOA Diving. dinosaurs are in peril. Yep. Oh, double Tau Tau, though. That's pretty good. Um, as far, I mean, double Tau Tau is like you know, pretty efficient, but uh, as far as a uh, Worlds Collide logos goes, this is not the scariest. Um, Set of cards. It seems to be like solid. You have a brand life for a life. Blech. Oh and yeah. Swindle. Blech. You'd be yelling at me if I was playing this deck. Yeah, it would be. But I get to play it. Mm -hmm. uh, you got stealth mode. Just stealth mode at the right time. Okay. Easy. Just stealth mode. Oh yeah, we can do best. We can do a bet. Oh man, this Star Alliance is good though. Kirby. With two Tau Tau Vapors is just kind of crazy, right? And a Transporter Platform and a Crash Molding. Oh, shit. That sounds good. I don't know. This deck could be fast. Like, the, yeah. the deck that you have could be pretty quick. If I don't deal with the creatures at the right time, I probably, it, like, I could just straight up lose. Plus, it's got the Obsidian Forge. So. That is on the entirety of the matchup. So yes. This is the entire so tag team matchup. I am the Grinning Skulls. Yeah. And I am Classes Divided. Uh, yeah, so. Mimicry. Oh, yeah. So just the flowers looking pretty good in this matchup. One of the decks tonight had uh, four Inky Glooms, which is funny. It is this deck. Yeah. It is Norman Senior White. It's just funny. Inky Gloom could have probably done with an Amber Pip. Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, now I'm suddenly tired. Aha, uh -huh, got it. 99. 99, huh? Alright, well, this is easy to beat. Ah, 45. Okay. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm all in this. I will keep, I suppose. I, um, it's not like an amazing hand. Mm. 
Blizzard War Ark Nova today. Wonderful game. That's a great game. Very good game. Very game. The uh, the the I felt I really felt like the skill gap had closed significantly since the um, times that we've played it. So uh, we started prioritizing like similar things, right? Like, yeah. So it was. Uh, I'll start with the vapors. Okay. Your turn. All right, I am going to say Shadows, I'm going to toss Bad Penny, I'm going to play Gamgee, and I'm going to play Furtive Investors. And it's your turn, I will draw. Uh, I'll save this. I will play Harbinger, I'm going to play Buzzle, I'm going to purge the Harbinger. I will play Infernus and purge your stuff. Oh, I, I'll leave Bad Penny there. Okay. Uh, I'll play, and I'll finish with you. And I'll reap with Buzzle. Your turn. All right, I'm going to say Untamed. This hand is bananas. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play Niffle Grounds. Uh, I'm going to mimicry your Telltale Vapors. Okay. So draw two and then archive one. Um, I am going to play there everywhere. Two to each flank creature? Yep. And one to each non flank? Enemy? Yes, right. yeah. only enemy. Uh, I'm going to soldiers to flowers. I'll uh, Lupo and kill the puzzle. Uh, and then I'll play Duskwitch. And it's your turn. I'll draw. Right, I'll say Logos. I will Thorium Plasmate the Dusk dusk witch. Okay. I will play Pocket Universe and Hologramophone. And Eddie. And Archive. Your turn. Hologramophone, Eddie. Do I amend my plans? I think I do. I don't. I don't think I want you to, to have a situation in which you can keep that Eddie alive forever. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna put my archives into my hand and say untamed. I am going to play Glimmer. I'll get back the Mimicry. Tempting to get back like Duskwitch. Tempting to get back there everywhere. Uh, but I'll get the Mimicry. Because I feel like we're like we're going fast in this matchup. Yeah. Um, mimicry and uh, Thorium Plasmate and Tau Tau. So I'll Tau Tau. Uh, draw to Archive. Uh, may as well archive that. And then I'll have Lupo just kill Eddie. All right. And it is your turn. I'll say Dis. I'll play Rock Grab and make you lose one. Play Dendrix, and I will reap with Infernus. Your turn. All right, I am going to say Logos. Uh, I'm going to play Library of Babel. I'm going to play ZYX Researcher. I'm going to archive the Mimicry. Jeez. I, I, I getting a Mimicry recursion engine going on here. Um, I'm going to play HelperBot, who is going to play... Subtle Mall. And then I'll play Cutthroat Research. And it is your turn. I'll draw four. Okay. Yeah. I will say Star Alliance. I'll pick up the archive. Play Kin Can. Play Molina. Play Commander Chain. Play First Officer Frank. Capture. 
Play Stealth Monk. Play Explore Over. On Dendrix for Maximum Cute. Alright, your turn. Check six, stealth mode. Very cute. Uh, okay, I guess I'll say Logos, and I'll draw a card with Library Bell. I'll discard these two Cutthroat Researches. I'll play Igor. Kind of a tough pick. I'll discard Earthbind and Umbra. Um, Helperbot is going to trade with Rock Grub, and then ZYX Research is going to trade with Infernus. And um, it is your turn. I'll draw one. That's all you got. All right, I'll forge. I mean, that's like, it's quite an untamed turn. But I don't have any cards to play. It's like an okay diss turn. It's like a pretty decent to okay diss turn. Uh, yeah, I'll say diss. I'll play. Obsidian Forge and Library of the Danged and Lothal and Nefru. <laughs> I'm getting there. Dendrix will fight the. Do you want to fight first? Yeah, I'll fight first. I'll fight Glimmer and okay. play that. I'm getting there. Redlock. All right, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, if those Star Alliance mans were dinos, I would have called dinos. They may have still been the correct call to have called them last turn, but I also liked widening the board. Getting Library out there, getting Obsidian Forge out there, also good. We talked about decision points in card games a lot in our Discord this week, right? Keyforge. Great for lots of decisions. But the, it de the game develops very quickly. Yeah. It's like the major draw to it, in my opinion, is that like you go from you go from very easy decisions to lots of complicated things can start happening pretty quickly. Um Take a look at this real quick. It's just plasmates. It's actually pretty good. The mimicry. Uh, okay, I'm gonna say untamed. I'll put my archives into my hand. Um.
I'm gonna mimicry your thorium plasmate and move Nefru in between. Uh, have them explode. I am going to have Lupo. Lupo is going to fight Commander Chan. It is, it's like a toss up between some of those strong lands. It does have hazardous. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh, it's got skirmish. Okay. Um, I'm going to play there everywhere. I'm going to play full moon. Now I'll regrowth the Dusk Witch and play the Dusk Witch. I'll get one for the full day. Alright, I'll say check with six, and it's your turn, I will draw. Okay, I'll say Star Alliance. I will. I'll deploy this here Crash Muldoon. See, boy. He's here. I will give him a cloaking dongle. I will fight Dusk Witch and capture one. And then I will. Use and fight Dusk Witch with Dendrix. It's true. I did. I did uh, groom myself. <laughs> I'll kill that Dusk Witch. Get a card. Swindle. It's dead against this board. Yeah, it's tough. Uh, I will. Reap, reap. Thanks for that sub there. Four months. Appreciate that, John Dritt. And uh... Okay. I am going to say untamed. Uh, I'm going to save the pack. Okay. Oh, I get Lupus. Uh... Let me use Lupo first. Okay. I'll... Niffle Grounds, Crash Muldoon, have Lupo fight Crash Muldoon, and then save the tackle. Mop everybody up. Um, okay. And that's my turn. I'll drop a chain and draw one. And I'll say check with seven. Alright, I'll say this. I'll say Logos. Play Sanitation Engineer, Wormhole Tech, Jargogol. With a card. Information Exchange. Pocket Universe, I guess. I'll uh, hologram a phone. The tech. And the. Okay. I will forge. I am going to say shadows. I'm going to reap with Gamgee and steal one. I am going to nerve blast and shoot the Dragogal. I'm going to play Brand and give you one. And then I'll play Yancey Gang. And then I'll settle them all. I'm actually not mad at Walls going there. Walls, yeah. He had a lot of stuff he could get. Um, Alright, it's your turn. I will draw four. Alright, I'll say Logos. I will... Reap with Wormhole Tech. Archive. Kirby. I will play Twin Bolt on those two.
I will play Telltale Vapors. Draw, shuffle, draw. Draw and then archive. Play wormhole tech. Sanitation engineer. I'll reap. I'll discard a card from my hand. I guess the snap. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I will use pocket universe. I'll use hologramophone. And I'm trying to check with artifact stuff. Okay. I am um I am gonna say logos. I'll draw the library. I'm gonna discard binate rupture. Couldn't quite there's been a couple times where it's it's been like close yeah. to being good. Uh, I'm gonna poke a wormhole text shield off. I'll put transpositional sandals on uh, the curator. I'm gonna put rocket boots on Brind. Um, and go ahead. I'll shuffle and draw four. Actually, Brent's too good of a target right now. I'll put it on the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty real estate. I'll uh, I'll say Logos. I'm gonna twin bolt those two. Actually, I'll do that. I do this first. I'll just fight Brent. Okay. There is not just fight Brent. Um. Then I'll twin bolt those two. Yeah. And then. No, oh, I had the thorium plasmate. I thorium plasmate of that. I'm tired. Okay. So this takes two more damage. I'm sleepy. I'll play information exchange and steal one. I will play Jargogle <laughs> with a card. I'll reap with wormhole tech. Yeah. Archive. I'll reap. Just losing a logo of shit over here. Archive. Pocket universe. Hologramophone. And I'm done. Uh, okay, I am going to say shadows. Um, I am going to reap with Yancey Gang, which is going to ready up with rocket boots. And then I'm going to action steal with Yancey Gang. Uh, I'm going to play two Gamgees. I'm going to subtle maul you. Your, your redraw into just all the logo shit again was too good. Uh, and then I'm gonna life for a life away the curator and hit, uh, I guess, Jargogle. I don't really want you taking a turn. And it's your turn, I'll say check with seven. I'll draw all three. Say Starlines. Pick up the archive. Yeah, Justin Justin wishes he was in bed. Yeah. Justin looked like he was in bed uh earlier today. <laughs> Walk downstairs, disc golf is on the TV. <laughs> Justin's just laying on the couch. Eddie's just laying right next to him. I feel like my dad just passed out yeah. playing, watching golf or football. Uh, I'll play a transport platform. I'll play Kirby, Molina, Brain, Capture One, Cloaking Dongle, Tim Can, Chan, Explorer Rover. Oh no. Yeah, but Kirby. 
Oh, I have Kirby. I uh, will play Dinosaur Bane. The dinosaurs. Your turn. I do forge. You do forge. Yeah, daylight savings was awful today, and I worked a lot yesterday, so. Yeah, I was watching Waco. It's pretty good. Uh, I think it's just going through the motions. I'll say shadows. I'll reap with both Gamgees. Um, I will reap with Yancey Gang and Ready and then action and steal one. Um, I'll discard this Swindle. And then I'll subtle Maul. And then lose to Obsidian Forge. I believe that is the case. And it's your turn. draw. I'll play Rock Grub and Lothal and Dendrix and not finish with you. And then um, Saint Forge for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah. 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah. yeah. Play. Your bursting was better than mine. Uh, the efficiency like... was pretty sweet to you. But I guess you were getting pretty efficient there with the, the mimicries. Yeah, I wasn't I wasn't inefficient. Right. Um Yeah, they played in the awful like wind and cold on Friday. Soldier's Flowers later would have been pretty good, yeah. Yeah. There's actually not that many untamed creatures in this deck. Uh Dusk Witch, Glamour, Lupo. That's it? Wow. That's it. So there's only three, so that's kind of Kind of the bad part. All right, one in the books for Grinning Skulls. Okay, Norman Senior White Nobles. Versus Epidia Galadeus from the Thatcher's Way. All right, what am I playing against? This has got the uh, Maverick... Where let's see. Maverick I'm Igor, playing. yeah. Maverick Igor. Yeah, Creative Nature, Creative Nurture. Untamed Igor. Four Inky Glooms, two Exhumes. What are you yeah. exhuming? I'm redact- oh, you're, you're exhuming redacting. your Untamed Igor? The Vault Keeper. These games have been pretty good, like, all last week. I feel like it was almost all great games. Yeah, they are pretty good. And that game was good, too. The State. A lot of artifacts I don't know they have to deal with. Some Sanctum. Get out of hand. Lots of Blinding Light. There's not going to be a whole lot of reading in this game. Between the blinding <laughs> lights and the like, inky glooms. Oh yeah, that's a lot of inky And the glooms. Seismo Entangler. Get your reaps in while you can. Heist Knight. Gotta make sure all the thieves are dead, if possible. Why do we still have daylight savings? Yeah, right. Is there actually a good reason? Is there like a there's lobby no, of people that care no about it? Reason. There's no good reason. Why? None of the decks are broken, that's true. I, I feel like you could win the next presidency in this country by vowing to get rid of daylight savings. I just don't get it. It seems like a simple thing to, to flip. <sighs> I just don't get it. Yeah. No one says, oh yeah, I'm so happy on oh, 98. Okay. 82. 82. Well, we gave it a shot. So happy we're losing an hour of daylight every evening. Great. Uh, I will mulligan. Mm. Tradition peer pressure from dead people. How much, well, how much yeah. shit in our country is... Uh, my, grandparents, world? my grandparents lived through daylight savings time, <laughs> and for that reason, we can't get rid of student debt. I'll grab my phone, Brent. Would have been pretty cute. Oh, well, yeah, the, uh... I finally drew the the life of the life was the last card in the deck. Ah, uh, yeah, I was pretty worried. Um, I I was like trying to frantically search for it, but uh, you had the um, what's his face, the hazardous guy. Yeah. So I could I could always get the word off of Brend at least. That's true. So. 
Yeah, Life for Life was the very bottom. There were a couple of turns I had to take, like, I, I, I felt like every turn where I wasn't killing dudes was like a wasted turn. And so there were like a couple of Logos turns where I was just like, well, I, I'm at the Logos part now. I gotta play them. All right, I will tense. Off. Lord Golgotha. Start getting violent. Um, okay, I will say Untamed, I'll play a 10 Tadlin with an Instrument of Silence on it. And it's your turn. What? It's... I'm, I'll, I'm uh, making the plays I gotta make. I'll say Sanctum. I'll play Lion Baltrum, Samaros, I'll Blinding Light for Untamed. And I will reap. Your turn. Okay, I am gonna say this. I'm gonna play not finished with you. I'm gonna play Ortanu's Binding and do two damage to the tree here. Uh, I'm gonna play Buzzle and I'm gonna purge this tree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna Binding Irons you. Um. So the big question is, do I fight Baltrum? Do I like, I guess I do. I'll fight Baltrum. Reaping just lets you put it on some arrows. All right, I'll draw. Uh, I'll say shadows. I'll play Knuckles Bolton. I will play Yancy Gang. Blow your Ronnie. I'll nerve blast. Shoot muzzle for two. And I'm done. Uh, okay, I am going to say shadows. I'm going to inky gloom so that you can't use your creatures to read next turn. They double can't read. Uh, and then I will Ronnie wrist clock and steal one back. And it's your turn. I'll draw. I'm going to say shadows. I'm going to play treasure map. I will steal one. I will fight Buzzle. Fight Ronnie. Check with eight. Uh, I'll say Untamed. I'll play Feathered Shaman and Rustnar, and then I'll play Low Dawn. And it's your turn. I'll draw three. A Forge. Say. Logos. I will play Poke on Feathered Shaman. I will play Remote Access. I will play Remote Access. I will play Cutthroat Research. And say check six. Okay, I am going to say Untamed. I'll play Creative Nature. I'll play Creative Nurture. I'll reap with Feathered Shaman toward Rustnar. Uh, that reap goes there. Rustnar will fight Baltrum. Uh, and then I'll play. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's your turn. I'll draw. Say. Sanctum. Play Doorstep. Play Shield of Justice. Play Blind Baltrum. Fight Rusnar. Reap with Marrows. Your turn. I am going to say uh, this. I'll play Ortanu's Bindings and then I'll play Ortanu. And it's your turn. I'll draw to you. Sanctum. A bond. Vault Keeper. Reap, reap, reap. 
Here, let's okay. can. <laughs> can't there sleep. we go. Well, this is what true AOA dominance looks like. Looks like a bunch of sand. It's got Vault Keeper up in here. I, d I don't know how this deck wins that matchup. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know how this deck wins that matchup. Well, it doesn't have to worry about that ever again. No. It is dead now. All right, next game. Next match. Next match, there you go. Sweet Maverick in a bad deck. Yep, you love to see it. Didn't even get to see the Maverick. I, I think your draw was above average. I'm not going to say it was insane, but your draw was above average. And, it, was, it was pretty good. And you um, didn't like offer, offer any opposition, right? Yeah, when I... <laughs> you can blow up my artifacts, uh, which enables you to like make good plays. And yeah, I don't, I don't know. I had um, a natural selection in the deck, which I could have used when you like, yeah, went up, so that way I could at least. Uh, so you'd have had to have that at the right time. Yeah, basically. Um, so that way I could kill some of the problematic creatures and whatnot. Um, I'm on slim fast, lean and wiry. Okay, I'll go ahead and start the bet. Mm, I'm on slim fast, right? Am I looking at the? Just kidding. You're on slim fast. Okay, bet's up. Okay, this is the world's collide. Yeah. Well, I uh World's Collide first. I'm on World's Collide first. Okay. Um So uh I could have Creed of Nature to the Ortanu in my hand to get back the chains. I bet it's the wrong team. What are you saying? Oh you're right. Well it's too late. That's like that's technicality. Running Souls wins. Yeah, I could have used the Creative Nature if I was ever going to get to untap the creatures, I think was unlikely at that point, but um, I could have used the Creative Nature to copy Ortanu from my hand to get back the chains that I had played. I got you, it's fine. It's fixed so. now. I don't know, I was playing cards that needed a turn to do anything, and you were playing cards that were doing things right then. So. Yeah. What is, what is this deck even? What is your deck even, actually? The lean. E-E. I don't have this, at least. Another treasure map. Fingers. I haven't seen special agent fingers on the table in a long time. Double curiosity. This deck hates scientists. Double yeah, curiosity. I really hates scientists. scientists. Um, unnatural selection. Fang tooth. This undamed likes to kill people. I, know, I feel like EE e. and Furnace. Big Zoom. We're going to give me Fitz. EE e. is like potentially busted in this uh, tournament if this deck advances. Okay. 94. Okay. 99. 99. All right. I'm telling you, yeah. these rubber dice, the best. Just the best. I gotta keep. I'm gonna mulligan. Treasure map. No, oh, yep. There it is. The Barkus Rex special. The rest of the hand's garbage, but. T1 trigger. Yeah. All right. I missed, uh, the, I missed the first part of that. The Kelly was talking about the two I own are bad, but. The uh, Ortano decks. Oh, yeah. I, I think Ortano is just bad. I think Ortano is just bad design. I like the idea of chains, and I like the idea of somebody being able to pull cards back from the discard pile like having a negative to play so should have been designed slightly differently he would have been awesome if, what if Ortano were play fight reap like every star alliance creature right yeah right like i'll play scientist bane and snag your turn if if a card 
if the card, like if the ch since the chains are literally only damaging your creatures when you play them, and you have to use him to get them back, I don't see the pro the the problem with him because eventually he'll kill himself. Yeah. Right. Like he'll, everything you own. Yeah. Uh, I guess we're saying Brobnar here. I'll uh, discard cowards and discard burn the stockpile. All cards I'm gonna hate uh, having in my discard pile. I'll discard into the fray. I'll trimmer snag. What a turn! And it's your turn. I'll draw four. That was a that was a classic AOA turn. Yeah. Let's say untamed. I'll play curiosity. Really, not a fan of scientists. Yeah. Not a big. Fan. Who should be? I'll play the fittest on snag. One day. Instrument of Silence. It's, uh, I'll play the fittest. Okay. Uh, Instrument of Silence is, is awesome. And I'll play Load On. Your turn. Alright, gonna say Untamed. Gonna play Nox. Gonna play Grove Keeper. Gonna play Dusk Witch. And uh, Grove Keeper is gonna give some plus one counters. And it's your turn. Say this unstun. Play Malzen. Play EE. -E. Play. Well, I won't play Malzen. I'll play EE. -E. I'll play Soul Keeper. I will discard Malzen and purge it to steal one with EE. -E. And I'll Festering Touch. One to Duskwitch and Grovekeeper. All right, your turn. Get a live Duskwitch. Okay. Uh, I'm a, seven. I'm gonna say Untamed. I'm play Fog Bank. You can't fight next turn. Uh, I'm gonna play Marmo Swarm, which is ready. Um, I think Nox is gonna fight EE. -E. Nox is gonna fight Snag. Okay. Um, it's gonna leave a really six, really annoying untamed uh, or disc creatures off the table. Duskwitch is gonna fight EE, -E, and then the Marmo Swarm's gonna fight. Um, Nox is ten, so Nox is toast. Uh, and then Grove Keeper's gonna reap. And then it will be your turn. Plus one counter on the Dusk Witch, plus one counter on the Marvel Swarm. And they'll draw it to you. Torch. Star Alliance. Okay. Red alert. Three damage. Uh, I'll play Frain and Kirby. I will put a stunner on Frain. I don't have anything to block for me, so your turn. Okay, I am going to say Brobnar. I'm going to play Screech Bomb. I'm going to play Brammo and do two damage to both. I'll play Broggins. And it's your turn. I'll draw all three. I will say. Untamed. I'll play Curiosity. They're all scientists, luckily. Those aren't scientists. No. Fog Bank, no fights. And I'll discard this Fangtooth. It starts eating my stuff alive. Your turn. Okay, I am going to say Brobnar. I am going to pound. Two and one. I'll do it. I'll play Gauntlet, and I'll, crack, I'll preemptively crack the Screech Bomb. I don't think there's a... I don't think I have like a huge reason not to. And then I'll reap twice to go to eight. And it's your turn. I will draw to you. Okay, I'll say this. I'll play Harbinger and Scullion. Blow it up. And then I'll play Rock Rub. Your turn. Alright, I will forge. I am 
going to say untamed. I'm going to quicksand. Mm, also, grub. they're everywhere. Oh no. The rock grub is very done. And then I'll regrowth. Deal with this dust witch yet again. Yeah, it's your turn. I uh, will draw all three. I cannot. I'll play Kirker and Garcia. Your turn. Can't do it. I can't. I won't. I refuse. Uh, okay, I am going to say Shadows. Um, Yancey Gang. Dipno Spy Master. Lamendra. Lamendra. Um, I'll Night Forge. Doesn't work. Um, I think I just use it, literally all my guys. I'll steal one with Yancey Gang. And then I will reap three times. That way I can forge at least through the Garcia. Um, but I'm hoping you're like priced in such a way that you have to go do something else. Uh, I'm going to say the Untamed. I'm going to Unnatural Selection. Oh, fair enough. I'll select these three. And I'll Ghost Talk and Reap. And Reap. You meant to keep the... No, I did not. Dust Quidditch dead. Which did you mean? Did you mean these three? three? Okay. Uh, the obvious one. What? What? Do you, you think is the most you obvious? You said these three, and you selected the dust. I'm very sleepy. I'll play Molfin. I'll play Kangafan, and I'm done. All right, so I will forge. I guess I'll put Molfin here for two more. I am going to say Shadows again. Uh, I'm going to play Furtive Investors. Um, and I'll gain one. You have more armor than me and you forged a key. Um, do I just explode these idiots or is it worth them fighting Garcia? Actually, I think it's worth exploding them. That's reap, 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 and they die. Um, I will Merkin's your top card. Poking Donald. <laughs> I'm too sneaky. Uh, and then I'll play Yancey Yank. And it is your turn. I will draw. I'll say this. I'll play Infernus. Hmm. They're everywhere and found. I'll exhume. Do exhume. Rock grub. And your turn. Okay, I am going to say Untamed. I'm going to play Aether Spine Mongrel. Uh, I'm going to Earthbind Garcia. Uh, and then I'm going to Persistence Hunting Star Alliance. And I'll say check with six, and it's your turn. Draw. Uh, that is the game. And that's yours. The whole game. Dang. Got out ahead. Yeah. Got out ahead. This is the dust witches. The real is dust witching. It's too yeah. much. It was like a lot of value. I mean, uh, that's one of the best cards in the game, right? Like, yeah. It's, like, it's, I think, if I think it lives, it's... It is, it is one of the scariest cards in the game, yeah. so... Anguish. 
I think English kind of makes sense in this. Like, I, I, uh, and I've talked about it before on this channel that I think there should be more kind of like overlapping between houses. Um, like, me mechanically, right? I think Brobnar and Dis having the shared disdain for their own creatures, where you want to beat up your creatures, you want to beat up their creatures, but also make your creatures suffer, um, like with the goblins and uh, the imps. Like, I think that makes total sense to me. Two doorsteps, huh? <laughs> Lord, Lord Invitus and Orb of Invitus. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I think it's... Oh, the, yeah, like, the cards that are literally the same card? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I think it's fine. It's fine, They're like... if you, It's not like a magic color pie where you want, like, things to be, in theory, in different colors. Um, I think it's fine in Keyforge. Because you're gonna have so many houses. You're, you're not... You can't have, like, a unique... Um... You can't have something that that house has that no other house has access to... Um, the, the house should be the best at something. I think it's kind of stupid that, like, Logos is really good at drawing cards and also really good at archiving um, because that just makes them better. Yeah, better but due On to the nature of the game. Average, at least. Now, if Logos were really good at archiving and then, um, but, like, let's say Untamed was good at drawing cards, at least putting cards from the discard pile back in your hand or something like that. 93. 93. Okay, could you roll less than a 90, sir? Beginning to get suspicious. 52. Uh, I will mulligan. Yeah, I'm gonna mulligan too. Um, his hand's not far from being bad. Man, yeah, this game... If you win this game, this will be the shortest yeah. possible tag team night. I just want to see what they're going to do with the tokens in that set. Yeah, well, like two more years till we find out. Yeah. <laughs> Only two and a half more years before they start teasing. I'm also curious to see how that Maverick really. Glimmer deck lo plays. It looks so sweet. Uh, that's not. We don't have that tonight, do we? I don't think this is this one, right? No. This is this is two Glimmers, but not Maverick. Uh, I mean, I think Fancy Flight's content to not say anything about Keyforge until they have something to yeah. show for it. Yeah, there's no guarantee they won't sell the property off. Yeah, they, um, don't, they don't have any reason to say anything about it right now. Like, it doesn't really help them. I mean, it helps them get, you know, good graces with the people that like their game, but they don't give yeah. a shit about that. We know that. All right. That much we know they don't care about. Uh, they will... Play the Smarmo Swarm. <laughs> I'll hit and run it. Oh my god. I'll play your Breaker Hill, I'll hawk, and then it's your turn. You thought that you got me. <laughs> I'll play Glimmer. No! <laughs> Get Marmo Swarm back. I will pl play Pimpaka Anga, Marmo Swarm, Darna, Camouflage on Pimpaka. Your turn. Uh, all right, I'll say you shadows. I'll play J Venda. I'll reap with Breaker Hill, and then I will subtle chain. It's gonna be. I get, I get a feeling I'm gonna draw as the two more shadows cards, and then I'm just gonna have two 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 for the rest of the night. And it's your turn. I'll draw. Sanctum, Hallowed Shield. Doorstep, doorstep, which sucks. <laughs> Shield of Justice. Your turn. Which sucks. I guess I'll see this. I'll play 
Uh, Edaroom and Bornet. And it's your turn. We'll draw two. Say untamed. I'm gonna Mighty Tiger the Breaker Hill. Play. I guess I'll play. I'm gonna play the Grove Keeper first, then Mighty Tiger. Um, I will fight Edaroom. I'll reap with Darna. Do some healing. I'll fight Bornet. And I'll reap with Pampaka. I'm done. Okay, I am going to play Logos. I'll play Interdimensional Graft. I'll play Vellum, I'll play Hide, I'll play Babbling Bibliophile. And it is your turn, I will draw four. Forge. I'll say Logos. I will standardize testing. It's going to get seven and one. I'll play this wild wormhole. Who knows what this could be? A shield of justice. Okay. Archimedes Hexbeon. Your turn. I honestly wonder if my out here is to activate hide and villain. What am I trying to draw into? Help and say, love what you guys will do in tournament, especially it's just fantastic. Maybe like AOA World's Clad. Oh, yeah, they're, they're the most fun. Thanks for uh, stopping by, though. Yeah, appreciate, appreciate that. It. All right. Oh, yeah, Grove Keeper. Glad you're enjoying. We're just trying to make, keep making content that people want to see. Yeah. Which has apparently been a struggle. Um. Guess I have. Guess I can also say shadows here. I'll play J Venda. I'll play Hugger Mugger. I'll capture one, and then you've got more keys than me, so I steal one. Uh, I'll Inky Gloom so that you can't reap next turn. And then I am going to reap with J Venda. Just how many inks are going to get gloom? Just <laughs> I'll shoot Panpaka for one. Um. And it is your turn. I will draw three. Okay. I'm going to play Untamed Ambassador. I'm going to smite Untamed Ambassador into J Vinda. So then two to the neighbors. Okay. So Vellum is destroyed. And I can play or use a. An, Untamed card this turn. Um, I will have Marmo Swarm fight Javen and he dies. I will have. I'll have Panpaka fight Javen. And then I will healing blast Panpaka. I couldn't get the four. get the Marmo Swarm because I didn't have one amber. Um, and then I'll play Doom of the Martyr. This is healed. Uh, I am done. All right, I am going to say this. I'm going to play Lord Invis. I'm going to play Malison. I'm going to Binding Irons here. You do Forge. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, and then I'll play Evil Eye. Um, OK, and it's your turn. Your I will draw for. But uh, this evil eye actually could do some work in this deck because of the interdimensional graft. I think if you hit it at the right time. Say, so, uh, Logos, I'm gonna fight Invitus, fight Invitus. The pow all powerful Archimedes. I feel like losing my ass this Pampaka. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, I will play this Wild Wormhole. 
or a binding rupture that it just goes, gets there. Yep, goes back to the top. Um, I will play. Bill of the researcher. I'll play. Lab work. And archive a card, and I'll play sloppy lab work. And archive a card. Now I'm done. So this, that. Okay. You trying to get that binate ruptured? We just soured on Dark Tiding so bad during the tournament. I would say. I like have no desire to play Dark Tiding Sealed. Yes. I I think mass mutations sealed would have been a like a slog because you would have like a decent deck like you open up your three you find a deck that's pretty good and then you lose to some deck that has like six draw pips or some yeah. shit and you're like I never had a chance it didn't matter what my opponent just kind of played cards they just played played that's play, almost play, the match was felt when you were losing is that you never had a chance to win yeah uh, like it didn't matter what like in all of these games I felt at least like things could have been a little differently yeah I, I had outs yeah, right yeah, like, outs, I, yeah. I, like a, the first game I uh, or yeah the first game I felt like I had an out like I just didn't have the removal at the right time um, okay uh, and like this this turn I have like a really interesting decision this turn right and that's what I'm trying to that's what I'm trying to brain through I'm trying to figure out um uh how to get through this turn i think what i end up doing is i have um hugger mugger bite grove keeper and then is that correct i think it is Hugger Bugger fights Grove Keeper. Um, and then I uh, Chimora Clips. Um, Archimedes is toast. I think your Grove Keeper ends up in your archives. What? Grove Keeper died at the same time as Archimedes, right? Oh, was he next to Archimedes? Yeah. Okay. That's why Archimedes had all those plus one counters. That's right. Tom two displays the Dark Tiny's the thirty percent off list. That's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. But I I still think there's probably really incredible Dark Tiny decks out there. It's oh yes, yeah. the overwhelming majority of them are a slog. Uh, and then I'll play Mac the Knife. Uh, and it's your turn. I'll draw two. Good. I mean, I got a. That's fine. I mean, I, I think I still got a binary rupture. Still got a binary rupture. And Hexbeon. We'll read. Uh, I'm done. Okay. I am going to say Lewis. I'm going to cut the right research. What's up, Gilgamesh? How's it going? Oh, hey. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, Magma Knife is going to shoot the Untamed Ambassador. I'll pay you one. Um, I am going to Positronic Bolt the Marmo Swarm. It's, it's way alive. Yeah. Until you forge. And then I will wild wormhole. You don't have an opening on these. They get street. Okay. Yeah, it's your turn. I'll say check with eight and draw three. Quick Eddie break. Where is he? Where could he be? 
Action cam. <clears throat> He's right. He's passed out on the floor. This is butt. Eddie. 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 Edward. Eddie. Edward. <laughs> Want a treat? Want a treat? You know what to do. I'm gonna sit down. <laughs> Stinky salmon treats. Yeah, look at that. You've been treated. <laughs> Very exciting. All right, my turn. I forge. Armos worm is dead. Yeah, toast now. I'll say untamed. Play glimmer. I'll get back this mighty tiger. Mighty tiger, the Mac the knife. Play Telega, play Pantaka. Why does it only take two? Oh, it does two damage? Oh, that's four damage. I had Lupo earlier. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Reap with Darna. Let's heal Darna. And done. I'll forge and then lose on the following turn. I'll say discs. I'll play Library of the Danged. I'll play Rock Grub. You break even. I'll play Malice and you gain plus one. And as your turn, I'll draw three. Untamed. Pick up the archive. Play Malzin. I, I got back in the game when the Pampaka Alga wasn't on the table. So. Yeah. Play Rock Rub. Reap, Reap. Reap. Let's get Heal. I have the uh, end of it is now. This tough. Uh, Big Untamed Creatures, the deck. Next game. All right. Game three, exciting. Two Worlds Collide decks, right? Yeah. I think it always has to be the same house versus each other, right? Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. yeah. Game three. That makes sense. Do you have all the scientists hate in that other deck, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yes. And now it's the games have been quick. There's been like a decent amount of amber control, but this is the second match both, in game three, so both the uh, both decks are just kind of racing to their conclusion. So yeah, oh yeah, that's true. We have also that we also have a really dumb uh, daylight savings time. So yeah, yeah. Right now it's it's eight thirty our time where we normally we go live at seven thirty. Yeah, it's lame. Yeah, apologize. You have to catch the replay. You got you got we got vods. So yeah. I'm still wondering why is it why is Arizona the only state that doesn't recognize it? Like what? Why don't we follow in Arizona's footsteps? Well. Well, I mean, I'm not saying in every aspect of yeah, Arizona. Yeah, I was going to say Arizona. Arizona also. Indiana doesn't really. Yeah. <laughs> it's I don't know if I would it's call not, it the it's definitely not. Indy. And just because you. Um, wasn't wasn't uh, Joe Arpaio sheriff in Arizona for a long time? Is that Maricopa County? Is that in Arizona? Or is that in New Mexico? I don't know who that is? Je Joe Arpaio. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. That's it's, You're better off not knowing who okay. he is. I he, I believe you. Sixty-four. Seventy-five. Um, 
You haven't done any time shenanigans. Yeah, that's because I'm all good. Jeez. It's not even a scientist. How do I kill that? I couldn't even kill a Dusk Witch for this deck. <laughs> well. Hmm. Say Star Alliance, play Kirker and Stealth Mode. Well, gonna say this. UTC, uh, whatever an hour later for you is what we normally did. We're, yeah. we're now, so we start at 7 30 Eastern still, so. We were, what, Greenwich plus five? I don't know if we're Greenwich plus six now or not. Um, I'll re Let's put a taunt in front of this Lord Invitus, I think. Uh, and then I'll rock rub. And uh, it's your turn, I'll draw one. Play Star Alliance. Play Kirby with the Soul Keeper. Your turn. Yeah, it's 7.30 Eastern. It's just that 7.30 Eastern is now an hour after it normally was yesterday. Well, it's the time it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's the time it's supposed to be. It's the time it's supposed to be. EDT. Yeah. Okay, well, I'll say this. I'll reap with Invitus. Give me my Kirby. My Kirby now. Yep. Put Kirby behind there. Um, I'll reap with Rot Grub. Toss it in the old archives. I'll play Bornet. He yeah, had a natural selection in that deck. Yeah, whatever. I'll play Bornet. I'll Infernus the Stealth Moon. And then I'll read with Kirker. And it's your turn. And I'll draw two. Unnatural selection. Uh, these three. Fog bank. Curiosity. No scientists. Molfin, your turn. Uh, I am gonna say this. I'm gonna reap with Bornet. I think I take a look at your deck because you had EE, right? Yeah, you did. You sure did. Jeez. You sure did. Uh, I'm gonna Binding Irons you. Um, and then I'm gonna Reap with Kirker and Invitus. Oh, sorry, uh, Infernus. And... Oh, I could have brought this Rock Road back. Uh, I think it's actually fine down there. Uh, Alright, it's your turn. I'll draw one. Say this. The old time fit at right after dinner, yeah. Play Scullion. Play Malzin. Play Exum. For the Molten. Um, I'm done. Alright, I will forge. I am going to say. Uh, shadows. I'm gonna subtle chain and inky gloom. Not mad at seeing Ingram go. Gonna play Mac the knife. 
going to hit and run, bounce the Mac the Knife, do two damage to Malison, and then replay Mac the Knife. Um, okay, it's your turn. I'll draw a four. I'll say Untamed. This feels like a whole other deck. Yeah, I just I'll play. Reef with Mulfin. I will play Bramble Links. I'll play Low Dawn. And Ram Bramble Links will just Reef. Check six. This feels like some other deck. A bill passed in South Carolina State House helped pave the way for the end of daylight savings, but it was contingent on federal authorization for states to observe daylight savings time year round by amending a federal statute. Wow, great. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, our, our uh, state house, if it doesn't directly give money to uh, rich people in Charleston, <laughs> um, uh, our, our, our state house doesn't do anything, right? Yeah. Um, our state house looks at like our roads. Our roads are so bad that like the large companies in the state basically said BMW. Yeah, BMW yeah. was like, it is our job to make vehicles with tires, and the roads in this state are unacceptable. Well, to they're us. so bad that they're like losing money because of the amount of damage that the yeah. roads do to their tires. So yeah, and they're reaping last turn. Um, oh yeah, thank you. Luke. You reaped twice. Yeah. Do you want to fight into Kirker? Nope. Okay. Excellent. Um. All right. Well, looks like a, a disc turn to me. Um. I am. But yeah, like BMW was like, uh, do something about the road. They wouldn't even do a gas tax. Which is like logical, right? If if you're paying for gas, you're using the roads. Um, um, yeah. But but people didn't want to pay one cent more for gas. So. Yeah. Per gallon. Yeah. Um. All right. I am gonna say this. I'm gonna reap with Bornet. Is there anything else I want from your deck? I'm just gonna. I just gotta call my shots. Um. We do have some of the cheaper gas in the United States. Yeah. To be fair. Right. Um. Oh, hey, let's get rid of that. But I, I don't think having shitty roads makes up for that. No, it does not. But tires for my shuffle, car are really, the shuffles, right? Yeah. Tires for my car are like several hundred dollars. He's kneed up the beach. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got, we got, uh, we got <laughs> trimmed. We got, um, uh, went to, uh, I, I went, uh, me and the girlfriend went to a, um, restaurant that we haven't been to since the, before the pandemic started. So. Uh, it was one of our favorite uh, places to go. So, uh, if if you're gonna go to a restaurant right now, is the time before the next wave. Um, so, um, I am gonna reap with Kirker. I don't think. Well, I don't think a wave is gonna stop anything else from happening. No, like, yeah, I think people are returning to office. If there's another wave, too bad. Then people will just die. I am going to reap with Infernus. Well, the here's the thing. Oil companies had a record profit last year, right? So uh, I got uh, so I'm going to play Orb of Invidus. No, oh, geez. Uh, actually, do I, I want to reap with Mac first and then play Orb of Invidus. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, with the it's a, an Italian restaurant um and the my go-to dish there uh is blackened chicken with a blue cheese tortellini and it is so good okay. i love like blackened um uh blackened chicken black like uh with paired with like blue cheese oh it's so it's so great so 740 canadian that's pretty ridiculous uh i will say on i'll play star alliance play gray Oh, shoot this Kangafant to archive. I'll, I'll play Frayne. And Fingers. Elusive. Action steal one. Yeah. I'm done. All right. I will forge. Blue cheese is great. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, may, I need to make this. Uh, there's like a buffalo chicken meatloaf i make where you like you, you take ground chicken 
and you mix in blue cheese and like buffalo sauce that's like mm. that's so good and it's it's like one slice is a meal so i can make like eight meals out of it <laughs> it's so cheap to make uh okay i am going to say logos i can no longer delay saying logos so i'm gonna mac the knife uh fingers there dead pow uh i'm gonna play pocket universe gonna play anomaly x player gonna play quantum finger trap uh gonna play wild wormhole for a vellum I've never heard of Chihuahua cheese, but I'll try it. Hmm. I can see that. Uh, all right, uh, and that's that. It is your turn. I will draw. Um. Okay. See this. Play snag. I'll fight Vellum. I don't have hide. Uh, I'll put that there. Move it there. I'll fight that. That's yours. That was mine. Yeah. That's yours. Uh, I'll play Rock Rub. Make you lose one. But if you, I think one of the more interesting things is looking at the map of uh, China's uh, train infrastructure over the last Man, ten years. Like if we had like, if you look at, train if, if at their yeah. high speed rail, if they're the, if you look at China's high speed rail setup over the last decade, if you look at what it is now versus what it was ten years ago, because they basically decided we're going to put high speed train stuff together. So yeah man uh high speed rail infrastructure across the u.s would be so awesome it's too bad we don't have that <laughs> right but that would definitely help with gas prices i mean there's just no good public transportation in the country except for in big cities but you just like have to have a car to exist sucks all right i am oh yeah lose one from rock Rub. going to say this i'm gonna evil eye you Okay. Uh, Mac the knife is gonna take out the rock rub. Oh, I'm gonna put rock rub into my. No, I don't want to get blocked by snag. So. Why? Why does it take concentration camps to have high speed rails? I don't understand. <laughs> I think we, probably... ha no, we have concentration camps in America. <laughs> that is true. Too. At the border, so that is true. like I, I know, I know who you are, Yolker. I know what you want to try to say about China and about Russia and about all those other authoritarian countries. America yeah. is an authoritarian country, right? We just like to pretend that we're not. Um, so yeah, anything that China does to the the the, the Uyghurs, we're doing to uh, people who try to cross the border. Um, we've, and we've been doing it for a decade plus, right? So, if we're gonna if we're gonna do that, right? I would at least like high speed rail. Yeah, right. Um, Let me get so, something out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, we live in autoc the autocratic United States. Like <laughs> this, it's the like, our country sucks. We just pretend that it doesn't. And whenever any, whenever there's any kind of like real momentum for change, business rallies together and just puts the kibosh on it. So yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, I have evil eyed. Um, I am going to have Kirker. Our oligarchs are cooler. Uh. Yeah, we have think, oligarchs. Yeah, we right? have we do have oligarchs. That's yeah, true. we have oligarchs. Elon we Musk. just call them billionaires. This is this is pro they have publicists in America though, right? Like the <laughs> Elon Elon was on Twitter saying that we should overthrow what was it Ecuador whoever has like a large lithium supply because Tesla needs. Uh, lithium for the batteries in their cars and he made it maybe he was joking but maybe he wasn't but he was saying we'll coup whoever we want to coup um, in response to somebody talking about uh, a country that had lithium right so uh, yeah that's, that's I, how that shit starts yeah so 
Um, I am going to have... I gotta get some of your idiots off the table before I lose to creatures that are in play that I never end up answering. I wish you didn't have my best friend, Lieutenant Kirker. So. <laughs> yeah. Yes. There was a joke. There was a joke from a show where there was a, a vet, a vet who was talking about how I can't, I, I forget the lead up to it, but the vet was like, "Look, I fought overseas. Um, you know, show me some respect." And and the one character was like, "You fought for the business interests of evil men," and the vet was like, "America is only the business interests of evil men." So, <laughs> um, all right, I you have like. The good news is you don't have an overwhelming concentration of any one house, right? That's the good news for me. The bad news is if I spend a bunch of time reaping, uh, my guys get locked down, and then I think you can get back into it. Um, I'm going to have Infernus fight Frain, and then I'm going to have Kirker fight uh, Gray. Is that correct? I think Kirker fights Snag. Didn't keep Gray. That's yours, Kirker. Thank you for letting me borrow. No problem. All right, anyway, I'll draw one. Good. Uh, Forge? You don't. Oh, you eat a lot of evil. That was just 100 years ago. Yeah, sorry. That was one rant ago. Yeah. Yeah, and, I, and that's the, I mean, that is the thing. The, okay, so. Uh, a good way to, to phrase this is that um, one group's theory is that, or one of our American, uh, one of the American political parties is that um, specific groups are responsible for the problems that you have. It's not. The, it's the it's not the justice system's fault. I think that's probably both parties. No, no, no. no. <laughs> the Demo the, the Republicans are like specific groups are to blame. Okay. The Democratic Party is like the system is fine. The wrong people are in charge. Okay. Which is also wrong. Which yes. So a a better way to think about things is that uh, rich people protect their own interests, and their interests are at odds with the interests of people who don't have money. Right. And I think that is a better framing for America, and you understand why fundamentally nothing changes. So. Uh, I'm going to say untamed. Generalizations incoming. Yoker. Yoker, man. <laughs> I'll play <Yeah. laughs> Intro of Silence and Molfin. I'm going to fight Mac the Knife and gain one. I'm going to fight with Ramblings to finish it off. I will discard Fang Tooth, play Ghost Hawk. Yeah. Is it is there is the problem with the justice system or is the problem with black people? Because that's where most of the time the the, the conversation goes. Is the problem is the problem with uh, immigration or is the problem with Mexicans? Because that's where that conversation typically goes, right? The so there you go. All right, check with nine. I am going to say. Logos? I'm gonna IG. And I'll play Babylon Bibliophile. Play Quant. I'll play Hide. I'll Anomaly Exploit Scullion. I'm gonna play Pocket Universe. And then Quantum Finger Trap doesn't do anything here. It's your turn. I will say. Forge? Yes, you can oh, get you the graph. Okay. Yeah, you can make oh, the graph. Uh, I didn't pull my key back right. This is my first key. When I didn't forge earlier. That's correct. Yeah. I'll say... Uh, say... Yeah. Star Alliance? Discard Red Alert, play Garcia, play Cloaking Dongle. Oh... He came at the right time. Yeah, well, we're in the middle of a rant, so. But yeah, no, I mean, the problem is the interests of business in this country 
supersede everything else. And so no real change can happen. Um, if you're trying to tell me that there aren't actual fascists in the Republican Party, then, uh, like, like, I don't know what to tell you. Like, there, you, you have, read, read Madison Cawthorn's Twitter, uh, read anything that people put, um, just, just read Ilhan Omar's, re quote, uh, uh, replies. Just read Ilhan Anyone Omar's replies on Twitter, Twitter yeah. and tell me that there aren't actual fascists supporting the Republicans in this party. Hmm. You're trying to tell me Donald Trump didn't get elected on the back of, of, uh, of like the 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 racism the the essentially blatant racism uh, really in this country. Yeah, uh, I'll text one with gray and I'll archive the fittest. I'm done. All right, so Garcia. Yeah. All right. I am. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, and to pretend that he didn't is. Uh, it is foolhardy. I will once again say Logos. Um, I am gonna Positron Bolt Garcia. Because <laughs> he said the things that they, yeah, thought it was, were not. Well, you had, I, you had, had huh? he said the things that he thought Positron, people thought she took three. Okay, the Brian okay. Links took one, it's not Twin Bolt, bolt. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll run out this cutthroat research. Oh, pocket universe. I'll anomaly exploits Bramble Links. I'll reap with babbling bibliophile and draw to. Uh, and then I'll reap with hide. All right. I, I lose. Draw. That's it. All right. So slim fast. Yeah. So the, you had. And the, the thing is, is you have people who are fascists who don't realize they're fascists, right? They've never sat down and cataloged their ideals. Um, and, uh, and then you had, you had like an entire generation of people. Um, I think it's fair to say so. Very um, nice. I think it's fair to say like uh, everybody who was posting frog memes for Donald Trump in 2016 um, on the internet, that was like a, a, a generation of people who grew up with only Barack Obama as president. Um, maybe they had George Bush as president. Um, and so there's somewhat, uh, uh, Donald Trump has somewhat of an appeal because he's at least positioned as if he were an outsider, right? Um, <laughs> but that's not the, that's not the case. So very good, Martine. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the, the thing is, right, the, the moment we're in as a country right now is not really anything new in this country. The, the exact pieces, the way the world, te technology and stuff like that, this, that stuff has never happened. But to say that like the last 10 years or so of America are like really troubling or whatever, um, like this is nothing on it's the, the Great same. Depression. Yeah. It's nothing on the Great Depression. So... It's the same as the 90s, the same as the 2000s. And yeah, well, he's not an outsider because he's rich, right? Um, he at least has enough sway and clout, um, and he had fame, right? So that puts him in the rich class. Um, and there is, like, and he, he never really fit in with the rest of people, which is with, with the rest of the rich people. Cause in, in like New York city, from my understanding, New York city, Donald Trump was a joke, right? He's, he's like the, he's like a, a, a funny idea of a rich person. Right. But to the vast portions of people in the country, that's not the, the, that's not the way he is. So. I don't know if I can point you toward discord for this discussion either. <laughs> I don't think I want discord. I, the star Wars discussion was bad enough. At the end of the day, yeah. There's no point in having this discussion if no one's going to change each other's minds. Right. Well, that's, that's just how that's, it is. I mean, that. I think that is part of the problem. Right. Is that there are people who say they will listen to reason, um, uh, but it's not there. So. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, so much of his, so much of his personality and stuff like that is more or less a joke. Um, and if you've dealt with high pressure salesmen, he's basically just that kind of thing. It's all so.
No, that's. I mean, I I know you weren't, but I also suspect your leanings. Um, and I don't kick you out because of the things that you say, but you phrase things in such a way where I have an idea of where your argument is going to go, right? You say blue states have five to nine dollar gases, gas uh, prices, right? And that, and you you say Texas is one of the few uh, sane states left. Um, and there's very recent legislation that implies to me that Texas is not sane at all. So. I'm sure you, uh, we live in a red state, yeah. but I wouldn't call myself a Democrat. Um, I, I, I do not see my, uh, I see very little representation in the United States government for me, right? Um, even if our government is supposed to be a representational uh, uh, republic, so. That is fair, Gilgamesh. The, well, I felt, uh, my fears were leaning more toward just blatant corruption because that's where the last administration was heading, right? But that, just like doing it in your face and laughing yes, about it. Yes, yeah. I mean, like, part of the reason why various aspects of the pandemic response were botched was because Jared Kushner was trying to find a way to make a dime off of it. And they made plenty of money. Yeah. The same thing with, like, the, well, and, the hurricane if you relief look efforts. At, and, yeah, if you look at... Like at Puerto Rico. Well, I was gonna. Well, yeah, Port, Puerto Rico. I mean, I can't. I can't even get started on Puerto Rico because we'll be here all night. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, the the. But if you look at, um, and this is both parties, <laughs> right? I know um, somebody. We finished our games. To be fair. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, but this is this is. I think this is why people watch us half the time mm -hmm. um, is because these conversations will come out of nowhere. I don't shy away from them, right? Anyway, so uh, if you look at Congress. Uh, members' portfolios, they perform well above industry standard for, like, like, hedge funds. By, like, a lot. By not a small amount. It's, like, a lot. Yeah. Uh, and it is a lot. And it is across both parties. Um, so, back to my previous statement about how rich people will work together to pr protect their own interests. Now, there are rich people who hate each other in the world, sure. Um, and they kind of squabble, but they more or less get along over the broad sh strokes of things. So, yeah, lobbying <laughs> is definitely a problem. Yeah, I mean, but lobbying is the natural uh, conclusion to capitalism. Unless, and if you can't even you can't even say that you're gonna like ban it outright, right? The the the, the if if money changes hands in this country the way that it does, there's always a, a, a um, so yeah, and that's and, that, and like I said, Joker, I'm not trying to, I, I will never kick you out for saying something that like challenges what the things that I say right, um, there are times where you say things that are intentionally to, to, to get me mad, but that's typically in game and has nothing to do with political views, typically um, so yeah, how often has lobbying ever been used? Yeah, but only lobbying is good. <laughs> I yeah. think I, the problem is is that companies want to act in their own interest, right? It, and I think medical insurance is probably the best example of this. Um, is uh, medical insurance in this country is an industry, okay? And it exists to make money. So if medical insurance companies are making money off of insurance, then they're they're acting the way that we expect them to believe to 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 behave okay so if the medical insurance companies exist we increase the price of medical care or and when we do that people don't we people act the way we expect where they won't spend money that they should spend on medical care all right so we have like this problem where people are acting the way we expect them to behave and then we get shocked when people don't get the treatment that they need because the medical insurance model is delay uh obfuscate payment um try not to pay try to find ways that people or doctors uh didn't fill out the insurance forms correctly so yeah the gerrymandering is ter terrifying and i'm also con i'm also convinced that the uh, the anti-trans and anti-LGBT bills in Florida and Texas are meant to push Democratic voters out of those states because, like, they were so close to blue-leaning uh, yeah. last election. So, like, if you just make it so trans people can't live there safely, 
their families are going to move them out. I mean, like, yeah. Well, that's that's, that's a you, that's what, a that's that's it's terrible. That's so a luxury terrifying. that people have, and that that not everyone can move out of the state, right? Yeah. Hey, what's up? What's that? Up, that, that is like, and then you have the poor uh, trans and, people that well, are like the, left the behind. The Texas legislation is going to get people killed. Oh yeah, one way or another. Oh, it, it's and the Texas legislator. Well, it's, it's, it's like, going to increase like suicidal tendencies well, it, it, in teens, right? Th this is like the, people. Uh, alongside the uh, abortion legislation that they passed that the uh, Supreme Court basic basically stepped out of the way of, basically said, we're not going to intercede and right. allowed it to go through, wants to dep deputize that, that, that will literally citizens, get people killed, yeah. Um, which is absurd, right? You, you, you're creating cash bounties for, for people to, like— to, to rat on people who've had abortions or what it's, it's like it's essentially it's, the same it's insane it's the I same think. expectation with the trans bill and like getting teachers to rat out their students yes yeah so. so um like you can't be upset when you have just like a pile of human misery afterwards yeah. so it's it is the slippery slope it's, but well, it's already I mean, like it's already like a 60, the we're down the slope it's way down the and slope we're way down the slope yeah. like this is there, there is nothing that is happening right now that should be unexpected to people who've been paying attention for the last several years. Um, it, it, tell me why. So, Yoker, explain to me why the Texas legislator, instead of, I don't know, making it easier to accomplish things in the state for businesses, why do they spend their time on fucking bathroom bills? This is because it's, uh, it's something for for them to point at and say hey this is what we're doing right that's that's the thing that pisses me off about it you're not making anybody's lives better you're just you're, just, you're spending time on shit and, and the, the thing about trans people is they're a minority part of the population it's like three or four percent it's not large yes yeah, it's, it's not good uh I'm glad you don't have any anti-LGBTQ biases because I will ban people yeah. that say... Yeah, exactly. Because we, we do not tolerate that yeah. in this channel. It is that simple. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we don't, we don't tolerate hate of any kind. Uh, and this is where I remind people that political beliefs, saying, saying that for me to say that I think Republicans are generally bad people that's not me hating some hating a minority right that's me saying the uh, the ideals of this person that's, has that's, chosen it's pointing at literal legislation yeah. that they back and fund that attacks a group of people just for being who they are this is my social like literally trans people aren't bothering them they're maybe like slightly fucking uncomfortable when they're yeah. around them so that makes them hate them yeah i guess right that's that's fine Yoga. i'm not gonna i didn't mean to like put you on the spot or whatever but but this is but yeah i mean when you say something when you say a phrase like texas is the only sane state i challenge that right uh the i, I remember this was like a year ago or so uh it was in response this is back to to elon um uh yeah so that's just like the panopticon right that's just that's just a natural outcome of allowing tech companies to do what they want to do, right? And, and I'm not saying authoritarian states are good, right? We know historically authoritarian states are bad, right? We were cheering the protests in Hong Kong, right? Um, uh, like Americans were. All right, and so uh, there were lessons from those protests that people employed. Um, in the George Floyd protests, right? And the George Flo Floyd protests ended up in a massive crackdown. There were, I don't even, it's thousands of people who were arrested in response to those. Um, there's any number of people who were killed by the police protesting police violence, which should tell you um, where it is. And uh, people were like, well, it's the defund the police messaging that's uh, really hurt the Democrats' message and shit like that. And I challenge you to find me anywhere in America where the police lost budget, okay? And that's because the police have such a grip on local politics that anytime uh, Bill de Blasio, on his way out the door, basically... Uh, like he he kind of like said some things maybe sort of negative about the police and the police were like no nah, we're not going to do that the 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 NYPD's budget is larger than several country it, it, like the NYPD's budget is something like in the top twenty five uh, militaries like the amount of money spent 
on the NYPD puts them higher than like more than 90% of the country's militaries to put things in perspective, right? And it's when you put information like this all out in a row, you can't come to any other conclusion that America is an authoritarian state. If a police officer decides that he is going to kill you, you have no recourse in this country. It's just, that's the way it is. Like, likely he won't face consequences. Yes, and very likely he'll get away with it. You have to, you have to have it recorded and then have it replayed so often that people get an uprising about it. That half the country turns out in the streets for it and then uh, he'll get charged with second degree murder, mm -hmm. right? Like, uh, and that's like one case. Uh, Breonna Taylor, that guy's walking around on the streets. Yep. Um, so, but people would like to change. It, it, I there was a the, um, there was a dude who was gunned down a month and a half after uh, George Floyd in the city we live, and he was gunned down by uh, the the sheriff's department here. And there's body camera footage of it. And um, you watch that body camera footage and tell me the police were not hunting that guy. Yeah. The police were told that he had a gun. And so uh, you watch the body camera footage. They pile out of the van. The guy gets up to run and the police waste him. And they are in the middle of a subdivision and they fire probably 100 rounds between all of them. It was like Just, five cops, right? It was like a lot. Yeah, it's five. Yeah. Um, and they fire probably 100 rounds be, uh, between the five of them at him in the middle of a subdivision. I'm going to remind you. Um, and like, uh, what? Like, I, you, I see that and I'm like, holy shit. Like, uh, I own guns. Yeah. <laughs> right? Like, yeah. like, if I, if I like, miss jury duty or some shit and somebody's like well nathan owns guns or something like that and i'm like at I'm walking out of the bank or whatever and the police are there and they're like freeze and i'm like what excuse me and i like act in a way that they don't expect it am i just gonna get wasted in the middle of like a walmart or some shit cops are trained to do that are you sure that cops are trained i ask <laughs> yeah because is police anyone training, really sure yeah police training is like it, it is more difficult to become a hairdresser in south carolina than it is a police officer so, and, but I mean that this this is this is a long kind of like tangential kind of rant. But um, we could talk about literally everything wrong with the country. I mean, yeah. It, it but but the forever. police, but the police are here to protect business interests, right? Um, because they get paid by tax money, and that tax money is largely paid by companies and people and stuff like that. So, yeah, exactly. The Ahmad Arbery case is a real good example. And those guys almost got away with it because they were like ex police officers, right? Basically, um, you know, somebody in the force was like, "Hey, uh, I heard you shot," a... and it's crazy because it's like Georgia too, right? Because it's like, "Hey, yeah, I heard you shot a black guy," you know, and it's just kind of like, uh, "Yeah, man," like they hunted him. Like there is, if you watch the video, you cannot. They, come they to the, literally hunt him. You yeah. cannot can come to the conclusion other than these people were hunting yeah. this man. Yeah, no, I'm not long for this world. A treat? Uh, uh, I believe one of them, I believe uh, the older gentleman was a retired police officer. I'd have to, I'd have to, I don't want to like misrepresent it, but I believe the, the, because uh, it was like a father son pairing, right? And I think they got help from either an active officer or. Yeah, you're just jogging through the wrong neighborhood. You can't tell me that's anything other than racial prejudice, right? You, you, it, the only way, the only reason that you would look at a black guy jogging in a neighborhood and then want to shoot him is because you have some sort of standing uh, racial animus, um, and you're like, "This is my chance," you know. <laughs> Everyone loves it. Yeah, that's true. Eddie doesn't know what's going on in the world. He's got to show up and get some treats. 
Sniff some ground. What's happening? What are you doing? Move it to the front. Oh, I see. Why is it not working? Is it because my layer is above Eddie's layer? No. He's on the top now. He's literally the top layer. He is front. Why am I behind him? Oh, wait, no. I want him, not, I want him behind me. That's what I'm saying. I'm very tired. <laughs> I don't know, yeah. All right. Yeah, anyway, that's enough ranting for tonight. For me, at least. What am I doing? I'm going to go play Legends of Terra. All right. Anyway. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah. Good to see everybody hanging out. It's been a, been a hot minute since I had a political rant. <laughs> sure enough, it's been a while since I got a good political rant. Out. Yeah, it's good. Good stuff. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with more Gloomhaven. That's fun. So, yeah. And then Wednesday, more Flesh and Blood. So, uh, yeah. What are we doing this week for Flesh and Blood? No idea. <laughs> I'm glad you think so, somebody. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Probably more Blitz. I don't, we could Blitz. do... We've done... We've, I, I don't know when we want to start the tournament. I feel like we don't um, have a new Horizon, so I don't want to start the tournament. That, <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Because uh, I want that hat. Yeah, it'll, it'll, be, it'll be starting roughly two hours before now next week. So whatever, whatever your local time is, minus two hours will be the start time for next week. So yeah, there's also uh, if you're in Discord, I always post when we go live and stuff. So yeah, yeah, that's that's like pretty close to uh, live. I mean, right. it is live, but it it's is. like pretty close to like the the During channel the will typically will be on. So well, we like people filter in. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye bye.